so in this tutorial we will learn about fixed function so what is fixed function pi square equal to fixed and click here fixed function rounds a number to a specified number of decimals and returns the result as a text with or without commas that means if we select a number within fixed then it will return this number as a text with a fixed number of decimal places and we can get the commas or we can omit these commas so we have three arguments here in the number you have to use the number which you want to round or convert into text and the decimal is how many decimal places you want after the decimal and in comma it is a logical value that means here you have to put true or false or you can put one or zero so if you put here one then it will not display the comma and if you put zero or leave it blank then it will display the comma so first we will select only the number then okay you can see here we got the number that is with comma and two decimal place this is the default so delete it and type here equal to fixed first argument is number so we select the number and we will not use the second and the third argument so we got number with commas and two decimal places then here again fixed and comma we will use the second argument we want three decimal places so comma bracket close so here we got the comma and three decimal place and you can see these numbers are left aligned as the text do here the numbers are right aligned and here it is left aligned. that means these numbers are stored as text now we don't want the commas to be shown so type here equal to fixed select the number comma leave the decimal place blank so we put another comma then one bracket close enter so we got default two decimal place and no comma and if you want both the comma and the decimal place then equal to fixed this is the number comma and the decimal in this case we do not want any decimal place and we will round up to thousand so we will in the decimal place we will put minus three comma and we do not need the commas so one bracket close and enter we got here minus thousand because it rounds up to this three digit that's why we got three zeros and now we will use this fixed function in our real life problems so let's understand this example too here we have a date product net sales so if we want to create a label that is total sales for hdd is this amount so we can use this with and text and fixed so if you use equal to the quotation total sales for space quotation and hdd and space and this number enter so we got total sales for hdd 55 lakh 55250 but if we want this number with commas and decimal place how to do this so here with the help of text we can do this equal to text sorry 
total sales within quotation total sales for space quotation close and hd that is e3 and space and this number so this number should be within text comma so what will be the format format will be within quotation hash comma hash comma hash we have made three digit separation now quotation close if you want decimal place then you can put dot zero zero then quotation close bracket close enter you can see we got the two decimal places and the commas but if i put here hash then we got here one decimal place that means one period but there is no decimal place after this period but with the help of fixed we can do it very easily equal to within quotation total sales for space quotation close and hdd and within quotation space and net sales so net sales should be within fixed number is this one comma decimal place we don't need any decimal place that's why zero comma to prevent the comma we need one and to use the comma we need zero that's why we will give you a zero bracket close and enter you can see we got comma and no decimal place but if we want decimal place we can put here two we got two decimal place in this way we can use the fixed function in our real life problems so i hope you have understood this tutorial but still if you have any problem regarding this tutorial you can write me in the comment section i will surely reply you if you like this video please hit the like button and share it with your friends who needs to learn this and do not forget to subscribe our channel so that you don't miss any updates or notifications when you upload new excel videos in our channel thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial